Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan Becker with another one bringing to you a new video talking about internet speed. I'm going to show you how to boost your internet connection or extend your internet connection. So into the backyard, into the front yard, into places where either your Wi-Fi is non-existent or it's just very poor. And this will also work anywhere inside the home as well. So let's go and jump right in. All right, so we're back. So just a little bit of backstory before we jump into this video. Basically, I moved the location where I do these videos at into a separate room. And this room is directly over top of the garage where we already got poor internet in the first place, but it was just completely poor. I was only getting about one meg per second. And just as just a test here, just to show you that, as you can see, it was only one meg per second. I'm like, why am I getting one meg? I'm paying for what, 100 megs or so. I'm only getting one meg all the way on this side of the house and mind you it's only a three bedroom house so it shouldn't be that you know complicated so the router that we have right now it doesn't cover the entire house there's different places in the house where it, it's just non-existent or it's just terrible quality so I got the Wi-Fi extender to assist with that to cover more ground uh, eventually I might talk to my ISP and just tell them to give me a new router and see if that does a little bit better coverage but this should do for now so let me go ahead and show you what this does all right so this device is a wi-fi range extender what it does it boosts your existing wi-fi up to 300 megabits per second external antenna for better performance and it's convenient because it's just a wall plug-in design that you just plug into the wall and this wi-fi range extender also mentions that it does work with any equipment so it works with any wi-fi router that you currently have right now this device also has a on and off power switch, a WPS button, and an Ethernet port on the bottom of it. On the back of this box, it mentions here the Wi-Fi range extenders boost your existing Wi-Fi and delivers greater wireless speeds where the signal is intermittent or weak and improves the range and connectivity you desire for iPads, smartphones, laptops, and more. And this will also connect to your Amazon Fire Sticks as well. If we take a look at the picture on the back of the box here, you'll notice that the blue diagram is representing your current Wi-Fi, and then the yellow diagram is representing the Wi-Fi range extender's Wi-Fi. So kind of just amplifying the range of it and, and gets a nice decent coverage of the upstairs and the downstairs. So I will turn over to the last side of this box, which does explain what's in this box, what comes with it. So we do have a WPS button on this device. We have an Ethernet port on the bottom of this device. We do have a wall outlet placement on the back of this device, and it comes with the external antennas. Alright, so once I got everything plugged up and I connected everything per the instructions, as you can see, the test, the speed test went up times two at least or times three or four because it was it was barely even giving me one meg so that's very nice for something that wasn't really giving me any type of internet in this area and now i'm getting at least eight to ten it fluctuates in between eight and ten megs so i will take that it's got my internet up to speed and up to par to where i like it and i can actually surf the web and use my fire stick and do other things as well and before I walk you through the process on how to set this device up at your house, if you do decide to get one of these devices or if you need one, I'll go ahead and link those in the description down below. So definitely check those out. But this is what the unboxing process is. You will have the extender right there in the middle. It's wrapped in plastic. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can get another good look at it. As I mentioned before, it does have a Ethernet port on the bottom of it. It's a yellow port. It's got two antennas that slide up. You can shift them around. Uh, it's got the on and the off button on the side and the WPS button along with the uh, power outlet on the backhand side of it. And the Ethernet port does have a green indication light to let you know that it is getting connection once you do plug something up in there. You don't need to plug anything in there unless you want to directly plug in. Like, say you have an Xbox and it's close enough to this extender, you want to directly plug it in to give you a better connection. You can do that, but you don't need to plug 
ethernet into this because the way it'll connect it'll just connect straight through the WPS the only other thing that comes with this box is the two booklets uh, one in Spanish and one in English they both say quick start and they do come with step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this Wi-Fi extender up as well alright and just to set this up and walk you through this is my wireless router from my internet service provider as you can see on this device it doesn't have a WPS button on it your router may have a WPS button on it it's 20 times easier if it has a button on the front of your router so definitely check that to see if it has a button if not you will need to access the interface of your router if you don't have a physical button so since I don't have a physical button on mine, I'm going to walk you through the process of the way I had to do mine, which is accessing, accessing the interface through the, uh, the wireless router interface and then enabling the WPS from there. Alright, so this is the inside of my wireless router. All I had to do was log into it and then go to the Wi-Fi settings on the left-hand side. And then there was a WPS button. I clicked on that and then it brought me up to the right hand side section where it says Wi-Fi protected setup uh, WPS and it says enabled and then all I have to do now is push the button on the Wi-Fi extender so go ahead and plug the Wi-Fi extender into the wall once you do have the Wi-Fi extender plugged in the wall all you have to do now is hit the power button to make sure it turns on but it should automatically power on and then you hit the WPS button on the side of the extender on the wall and then for me all I had to do was click the pair button on the interface there the button down there at the bottom that's my physical pair button or WPS button I have to physically use the interface to use that button alright so I have my Amazon Fire Stick pulled up and what I'm looking for now is to make sure that the connection is showing properly so the, whatever your Wi-Fi connection is named it'll say underscore EXT next to it so that's the extender showing that's why it says Wi-Fi dash Carter underscore EXT that's what the Wi-Fi range is showing so once I click on it it'll ask me for the password you put it in and you're good to go um, but basically we've set it up and once again I had to use the interface because I didn't have a physical button but if you have a physical button on your router from your internet service provider it's straightforward for you all you have to do is hit both WPS buttons at the same time and you have two minutes to let them sync up and then you're good to go but if you don't have a physical button you do have to use that web interface for those of you who were curious if these Wi-Fi extenders do work or if you have a similar situation that I do where your desk or your phone or any type of wireless device that you have is on the outskirts of where your router is able to get to, these extenders do help so they do boost the connection up for you. So like when you saw mine, mine was at 1 meg because it's literally on the outer skirts of where my router can potentially get to. So it boosted that 1 meg all the way up to 8.5 meg, sometimes 10 meg. So I will take that. It definitely makes my internet um, connection a lot better. And I could definitely feel more appreciative to the device because it can give me what I need from it. I'll leave the link down in the description below so you can check out some of the reviews and also see the price and also uh, just decide if this is a device that will come in handy for you that's all I wanted to do for you today is definitely let you know I'm using this I bought it and it works for me I want to let you know that you can also potentially use this if you are in the market for something like this make sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever used one of these devices before what your experience was with it I definitely like to know I'd be interested in that but once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found value in this, give it a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.